I built a set of tripod speaker stands, but I hid the entire amplifier inside. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how I made them. Recently, I walked into a second-hand store and found these speakers. Yamaha NXE 400 from almost 20 years ago. I got them for 15 euros and for that price, they're honestly impressive. Great sound, clean design and perfect for a small home setup. So, of course I took them home and I was curious what I could turn them into. But pretty quickly a few challenges showed up. They're passive, so they need an amplifier. I don't have anywhere to place them and on the floor they just look tiny. And of course I wanted Bluetooth. So first I needed to check if they even worked. I connected them to a tiny budget amplifier. The same kind of board I used in my last speaker project and I was genuinely surprised how good they sounded for something this old and this cheap. The next step was designing a speaker stand. I wanted something minimal and modern, something that would make these old speakers look like a high-end piece. A tripod was the perfect shape, light, elegant, stable. You can buy stands like these, but the prices are ridiculous and I wanted to build my own anyway. To get the height right, I chose 1 meter beechwood dowels with a 25 mm diameter. They look good, they're strong and the proportions work well. While designing the connector that holds the legs together, I suddenly had an idea. What if the amplifier could live inside the stand? Less clutter, fewer devices and an extremely clean look. The amp is tiny, so why not try it? I printed the first version in Bamboo Lab PLA Tough Plus. Normal PLA works too, but I wanted a bit more strength. The first print already looked promising, but a few things needed adjustments. The amp didn't fit perfectly, the legs were too tight and the opening for the power supply was completely wrong. So I redesigned everything. The second version was much better. I added M2 heatset inserts so I could mount the board properly. Ventilation slots on the back to keep the amp cool and on the front, the volume knob and aux in. The service hatch closes from the top and because many of you mentioned this in my last video, I added a small groove for a TPU vibration damping ring. On the bottom of the legs I used 3D printed end caps with a TPU or rubber insert for better grip and less vibration. Since this is a stereo setup, I needed a second stand. That one is just a holder, no amplifier compartment. And if you already have your own amp, you can simply print the non-amplifier version twice. Because my speakers are black, I printed the parts in black too. If you want to build your own, you can download all printable files along with a step-by-step -step guide and support on my Kofi. The link is in the description.
magic songs and lonely air at that time. Don't know why. Always dream of you in spring comes. It's like the heat on my skin takes me back to the time that you were. And finally, good sound across my entire workshop. Yes, the stands are stable. Even heavier speakers should work fine. And here's the total cost of the whole setup. $15 for the speakers, $15 for the amplifier, about $9 in filament, $20 for the wooden dowels, around $8 for a power supply. So, in total, $67 for a full Bluetooth stereo system. Would you put something like this in your home? Let me know in the comments. And while I was finishing this build, I realized this tripod system could work for way more than just speakers. So, I built a floor lamp using the same idea. 